Hey guys, my name is Brad. I am here right now with the one and only Hot Mulligan. And how are you? I'm all right. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Chilling. Chilling. <laughs> so how hot are you guys right now? Uh, so much cooler than we were in Texas. Yeah, for real. I mean, it was kind of hot outside, but like it's chilling here. It is chilling here. I heard the uh, AC is fixed because it was broken here. I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't know until today. Feel it. I. Do you? Because um, someone <laughs> someone told me today that the AC was broke this past week on like Wednesday, and um, it was. Then I walked in when nobody was in there. It's a little hotter now, but yeah. You know. Because so you die body on stage and then you come down and then you burn alive more. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah. That's how it works. So you guys are sort of fresh off of your release of opportunities. How was uh, how's that been? Uh, the first tour of opportunities was like really sick, and then we consider this the second one, uh, the first after the re-release, and definitely our best tour yet. Um, more people coming out than ever, and more people caring, so it's been really sick. That's really awesome. Um, where it's obviously with Belmont. What um, what areas did that uh, this tour hit up? Um, we hit up the Midwest, which we've done a few times now, but this is our first time going any more south than like North Carolina. So we also hit up like Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, uh, Kansas, Kansas. Georgia, South Carolina, and we came up through Baltimore, one of our first times in the Northeast, and now we're back in the Midwest. Right, right, right. Um, what, uh, what do you think so far? Not counting the Michigan date, because I know the, you know, the Michigan date's gonna be sick. And like, well, I mean, it's you know, sort of a hometown show. But uh, yeah. did you guys, did you guys play Grand Rapids earlier, or Lansing, or something? Was that the first date, or no? Uh, no, our first date was in Chicago. Was it? Okay, yeah. okay. I, I figured that would be like Chicago. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because. Well, because I know Belmont's from Chicago, but besides those, before besides this date and the um, Chicago date, which date would be, uh, do you think is the best turnout? Um, turnout's different. I think like the the best set we got to experience was either in North Carolina or in uh, Norman, Oklahoma. We played with a band called Life Lessons, and that okay. was really sick for our first time there. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. I love those guys. Yeah, Life you know? Lessons is super cool. Caden's got the best stage presence. So oh my sick. god, I've heard so much about him today because everyone's been talking about Life Lessons. I don't know. I guess that's the thing to do at shows, you know, just talk about. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, so what do you think um, your favorite song off of Opportunities is, and how does that, how did that EP shape your uh, progress as a band? Um, let's start with dates. I think Dead Dogs is probably my favorite song on that one because. Um, I'm I'm getting a little bit more tired of girl songs. Uh, <laughs> still, there's always right, something bit. to say about it, but like I like I like the opportunity to write about new uh, material. Yeah, new, just different subjects and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that song is it's fun to, to perform live, and it just kind of kicks really hard, and uh, it's kind of it's showing a different direction. A little bit, not so much. Right. It's a, it's. A, I know it's a little bit different because when I, I you guys released um, Dead Dogs, it was a little bit. You know, it wasn't. It had to grow on me. You know yeah. what I mean? It wasn't like it wasn't bad, but it what had to like. I had to get used to because it's not your normal sound. Yeah, and I it like wasn't that. like it wasn't typical Hot Mulligan. It exactly. Was like, it was a, a mix up. So. Right. Um, I really like Dead Dogs. I think the vocal intro Tate's wrote on that is probably my favorite thing we've done as far as intros go, but. On the re-release of Opportunities, we put out a uh, deluxe capacitor, an acoustic song. We've been playing full band, or that full band on this tour, and that's been really fun. Doesn't really sound like the rest of our stuff, because it's got more of like a just chill pop groove to it, but right. it's been it's been really fun playing that one. That's good. You got one? Uh, yeah, I like deluxe capacitor a whole lot. Uh, it's like the first chance I've gotten to actually like kind of write drums for Hot Mulligan. And it's been cool to play live. That's like, insane. That's insane. Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. That's good. That's good. It's all. It must be nice to be a part of something. And, you know. Yeah. You know, actually, like, like it or yeah, something. It's nice to have him in it. Cause when we first started writing together, I was like, all right, it's gonna be weird writing with a drummer. But I also played drums, and then him and I had just been on the same wavelength. Like the drums I hear in my head are what he plays, and then he does more than what I wanted. It's just been great. That's insane. That's good. That's good. Um, you guys obviously got signed to No, no Sleep Records. Yeah. Um, congratulations on that. Thank you. How, um, how has that been so far? I mean, obviously, you know, it just like happened, but... Yeah. Um, it's been pretty sick. Uh, when Tades and I started this band together in high school, uh, all my favorite bands were on the No Sleep roster with like The Wonder Years, La mm -hmm. Dispute, and Balance and Composure. And then when we got the offer, I was like, oh, and that's crazy. And then 
you know, we got to do the re-release of Opportunities, which is coming to vinyl for the first time now, mm -hmm. available for pre-order, should be ready by our next tour, and then... That, you know, it's just been sick all around. That's insane. That's insane. Must be really surreal to you know, because I, I mean, even um, the Swellers were on No Sleep, and they were, yeah. well, you know, I, they were so sick. And obviously, you recorded with Nick. Yeah. Uh, so that's um, that's pretty cool too. What do you think? Your shows, obviously, everyone sings your words back to you when they know who you are. Um, what is your favorite thing about about that? Like, you know, about your live show? Um. Well, <laughs> uh, recently, I. Uh, just like talking to fans and stuff. Some people that, I don't know, just being open at shows is becoming a, a real more popular thing. So some people come up to me and like just talk about some shit that they had on their on their mind. And uh, it's just kind of, they scream the words back at me and I see this look on their face. It's animalistic and broken. And then they talk to me afterward and they're like, yeah, I had some stuff I had to get off my chest. And it's like, oh, well. What better place to do it, right? Right, exactly. I know um, your lyrics mean a lot to people, you know, whether, yeah. whatever you know, it is. There's a bunch of people who are really latching to it, and that's that's a different feeling. I didn't really see that happening when we started off, just because, like, I don't know. Everybody has these feelings, and everybody can say that, and I didn't know that, like, just putting it to music and making it catchy would make people be able to release that, you know? Right, and I know that um, even I talked to Kayak Jones at your release show with Opportunities in January, and um, they had said that you had, you know, sort of an influence on them as far as the powerfulness of lyrics go. <laughs> and um, I thought that was interesting. So um, obviously you guys try to focus when you're songwriting, but what else? Never say that. <laughs> 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 no, you're good, yeah. Sorry, what was the question? Again? No, I mean, um, well, how, what do you think you focus more on? Or obviously, you know, you try to write good songs, but what do you, um, what do you focus heavily on when you write songs? Um, when we used to write, it was kind of just we didn't really plan on doing anything, so we just wrote songs, mm -hmm. and then we're like, all right, that was the song. But um, we always kind of had the focus where we wanted to write songs that we wanted to listen to. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we heard like a band we really liked, be like, I wish they would have done this. We'd be like. No, I want a song that sounds like what I want to hear. So, like, mm -hmm. we try to take the influence from all the genres we listen to and try to put it in. And so then, uh, be your own favorite band. Yeah, try to be your own favorite band. And then, as of recently, uh, we wrote more straightforward stuff before. And now we're just changing it up with like arrangements where to cut certain instruments out or throw harmonies in and just dialing in really hard. Right, of course. Yeah, yeah that's insane. That's insane. Really take a stab at it. Yeah. What, um,. As the last question, last question, does pineapple go on pizza? Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. It's yeah, right. you got the deniers in the world, but <laughs> you can deny it all. I've been more accepting to it. I've been asking bands this question, and a lot of people are very accepting to it. I think I'm open now. Yeah, I mean, like, if you don't get down with it, that's fine, but don't take it away from us. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. cool. That's okay, cool. Okay, my girlfriend might hear this, and she's going to call me out, but... I, I say I say that I don't want pineapple on the pizza because you always get it that way, and I like to mix it up and be an individual with my pizzas. Got to be adventurous, right? <laughs> yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be an adventure. It's got to be a journey. If pizza is not a journey, it's not pizza. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, um, what would be your last words to, to sign off right now? Um, thanks to everyone who's been coming out on this tour, supporting us with the re-release of Opportunities, the signing to No Sleep. Uh, We've seen like a big change in the past year with how people have been reacting to us and everything, and it's it's better than ever, and it definitely feels like it's paying off. So thanks. That's insane. That's insane. It's good. It must be nice to see hard work pay off, right? <laughs> right. Um, anyways, uh, that was Hot Mulligan. My name is Brad, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.